Good morning. How was your night? Were you able to get some good sleep then? Okay, good. And I'm assuming you had your first cup of coffee for the day at home? Okay, good. Because you're going to need it today. We have a lot to go over this morning. Um, and I got your post-it note about your um, gym membership. So I have some notes to go over with you for that. And were you able to bring in your dry cleaning for me? And where did you put it? Oh, in my office? Okay. Thank you. So, yeah, we have some meeting stuff to go over. And then I want to make sure that we get your second coffee ordered for the day pretty soon. And we'll go over lunch and all that stuff. So, if you want, we can start off with meetings. So I got a few emails this morning from a couple of people that said they couldn't make it at 12 and they gave some reasons why. So I was going to see what you thought because I know you do have a second meeting to get to at 1 o'clock. So I'm probably going to have to call them back and let them know that we can't reschedule this time. So yes, one of them was Karen. Um, her reason was that her favorite lunch place um, that she always goes to, she has a set time that she likes to go at 12, so she doesn't want to mess that up. And I had, let's see, a couple of other people, same kind of excuses, mainly because of lunch. They don't want to mess up their schedule, but I'm going to have to call them because we don't want to miss our 1 o'clock appointment today. So I'll call them back and let them know that we have to keep it at 12. What do you think about that? Okay. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I don't think we should reschedule it because we've already rescheduled at one time. So, and then I also, um, I know you wanted to order some new clothes. So I pulled this from your desk last night and went over a few options and color coordinated for you. And I have that all right here if you want to go over that. Okay. So I'm going to start by calling Karen and the um, couple other people that said they couldn't make it and let them know that they need to be at the meeting and that their reasons are not going to work out for them this time. And then we will go over your gym membership, okay? All right, so let me call Karen real quick. Jacqueline, just calling to let you know that we are going to need to keep the meeting today at noon, so we will hopefully be seeing you there, and we are not able to reschedule it, so hopefully we'll see you at the meeting today at 12. Okay, thank you, bye. Alright, we'll see if she shows up, so that was for Karen. I did give her a voicemail warning. So she doesn't show up for that, which is a very important meeting, isn't it? Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Then we'll have to go from there with what we're going to do about her. Okay, and I have a couple more people to call back. Let's see. I know he's not in right now. Let me call them back later. Um, did you find anything that looked good in here? This one? Okay. What do you think about this outfit? You like that one? Okay. Let me highlight it so we know for sure. And this one? Okay. Alright. Did you want to keep looking or do you want to look a little later? Okay. 
right, so we can go ahead and go over your gym membership now. So I did call and spoke with somebody who said they are closing all of their branches down. They didn't give a specific reason, so this one is closed. All of the branches are going to be closing down. So I did call around and I got three more options for you if you'd like to go over it right now. Okay, so this first one, um, I know you said you wanted to get into boxing. So they do have a boxing area and they also have coaches if you want or you can just go out and do the boxing yourself. Um, they have a really nice area. I looked into and researched it. It's very highly rated. So the only um, con about this one is that they are closed on Sundays. Mm -hmm. So they're open Monday through Saturday though and they have really great hours. They open super early and they don't close till I think it was 11.30. Yeah. So that would be the only bad thing is that they're not open on Sundays. I know you typically like to go on Sunday, but if you want to try to switch it to Saturday night, um, which I know you're usually out, so we'd have to think about that one. Okay, and then the second one, they are open um, seven days a week, and they're actually a 24-hour gym. Now, the only con is that they do not have an outdoor area, because I know the one that you went to before they closed had a nice outdoor area where they had like some punching bags and some rock climbing and stuff. This place doesn't have it, but again, they are 24 hour gyms, so it's really nice and flexible. And then the boxing, they do have a little boxing area as well. Um, so I'm thinking that one is going to be your best bet. That way you can still go on Sundays. Um, that air, that, um, gym was not as highly rated though, so but it does seem nice to me. And then the last one, um, they're not 24 hour, but they are open on Sunday. Um, I think it was Monday and Tuesday they weren't open for some reason. Let me check my notes. Oh, just on Monday. They're closed. Okay. Um, and that one has a boxing area, but there's only a couple of things as opposed to the first one. They had a really, really nice setup. And they had plenty of area to do it if, like, someone else was already there boxing. So, what do you think? Do you want to think about it? Um, they're all around the same price, yeah. Okay. So, you want me to call the first one and get more information? Okay. And then, if we don't like what we hear, you go and tour it, and you don't like it, then we can obviously go through the second ones more extensively. Okay. All right. So I will make a note that you want to go visit and I'll give them a phone call and set that up. Okay. All right. So there's that about your gym membership. Sorry, they closed down. I couldn't get a reason why, but yeah, I don't know. Anyways, let's go over your coffee order so that doesn't get too late. Um, are you okay with your usual from Starbucks? Okay, so you want to try something new? Okay, well, let's see what they have. Let me go to our location. Okay. Alright, so are you thinking hot coffee or iced? Cold coffee, okay. Alright, so here are their options. I know they have a couple of new things. Um, are you thinking more like cold brew or just a normal iced coffee or Americano? Something strong, okay. So, obviously, if you get your usual, your iced 
Americano. Uh, but since you want to change it up, we could do that with like an almond milk or they have an iced honey almond milk flat white, which looks really yummy and interesting. I know you don't want too much sugar in your drink. Um, oh, they have a new iced chocolate almond milk shaken espresso, so that would be pretty strong. It sounds super yummy. Or they have a um, iced shaken espresso. But this one does look really good. The chocolate almond milk one looks yummy. Um, what do you think? They also have, don't they have an oat milk one? Um, I thought they did. Yeah, I think it's like a cold brew with oat milk in it. Do any of those sound good to you? Okay. So you want to try the iced shaken espresso? Okay. Let me look at the sugar content for you. Okay, that one has 14 grams of sugar. Okay, then one second. Yeah, that one has 16. Um, hmm. What we could do is get your Americano and we can kind of switch it up by just splashing some almond milk in it. Okay, you want to do that? Yeah, that would be like next to no sugar in it. Okay, all right, so I'm going to add that. Okay, did you want anything else from there? Oh, you want to look at their food? Okay, yeah, I'm not too familiar with their food menu. I don't think I've ever gotten anything from there. Let's take a look and see what they have. So they have hot breakfast, bakery, lunch, snacks and sweets, and they have oatmeal and yogurt. Okay, let's take a look and see. Here are their bagels. They look pretty good. They have an avocado spread, cake pops, brownies and cookies. They also have croissants. Those look pretty yummy. Um, but again, this is going to interfere with your sugar count for your weekdays that you like to maintain. Um, let's go to their lunch and see. Obviously, this one be your lunch, just kind of like a morning snack. Um, they have a ham and Swiss panini, turkey and pesto panini. Don't they have, I think they have egg whites. Does that sound good to you at all? Okay, let me see what they look like. Mm, okay, so yeah, they have um, egg bites, they're called. Egg white bites, I think. So this one's egg white and roasted red pepper. That one sounds like something you'd like. They have one with bacon, one with kale and portobello mushrooms, which does not sound good at all, but what do you think? Okay. Yes, I know we both share a hatred for mushrooms, so um, bacon or the roasted red pepper. Okay. Yeah, it looks like the bacon is not egg whites. It's just the roasted red pepper one. You want to try that one? Okay, so the egg white and roasted red pepper, I'll add that to your order as well. I'm not going to order it right now, so it's nice and fresh after our little meeting here. I'm just going to add it to my cart. Okay. All right, so I will get that picked up for you whenever we're all done here, and I'm going to call and see if Kevin is back yet. I know he ran out um, to meet with a client. So let me call him so I can let him know about the meeting. And I'll email them too. Okay. Oh, hi, it's Jacqueline. 
Oh, you just got in. Okay, perfect. So we are actually discussing the meeting for today and we're not able to move it from 12. Yeah. Um, yeah, unfortunately we can't move it to 12.30 either. Okay. Mm-hmm. Could you possibly call to see if you could reschedule it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, if you could find a way to reschedule it, that would really be great because, like I said, we're not going to be able to move it and it is an important meeting, so we kind of need everyone there. Okay. All right, sounds good. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay, bye. All right, so he is going to try and make it and reschedule whatever he has that was going on. Okay, so I just need to call Lisa and let her know, and we'll just wait to hear back from Karen, I guess. Okay. All right, and then I do have all the bullet points for today's meeting at 12. I'm just going to highlight them now real quick. And then we can go over what you're thinking about having for lunch today. Are there any new places that you're interested in trying? Okay. Um, I don't think I've heard of that place. No. I will look it up and we'll go over the menu. Okay. So this is our first bullet point. Second, third, fourth. And I'm going to write a little note on this one. Okay. Okay. And I'll finish the notes on that uh, later. Let me send uh, Karen an email real quick just so I cover all my bases so she can't say that she didn't get the email or something because I'm starting to worry about that. Okay. Is there anything else that you wanted me to let her know? Okay. Just telling her. All right. Sent that off to her. So we'll just wait to hear back from her, I guess. It's always something, right? Okay. So we got your gym membership taking care of for now and like I said I will call and set up a time for you to go tour the facility and see if you like it and then if you do obviously just text me and then I'll get your membership set up for you and I'm gonna go drop off your dry cleaning after this and pick up your coffee and egg whites and I'll also call um, right now to schedule your lunch order so I will be picking that up after your 12 o'clock meeting. Okay. And then we should have about a 15 minute window for you to have lunch. I don't think this meeting's going to go too long. We have a few bullet points, but they should be pretty quick unless someone has an issue, which we should probably plan for because usually people do. And then I'll also get um, these clothing items ordered for you. Um, if you want to look through a little bit more, I, like I said, I put tabs. So you have your accessories here. So if you want to just look through that while I pull up that place that you were talking about for lunch. Okay. Right. Alright, what was it called again? Okay. I 
Okay. Menu. Lunch. Okay. Oh yeah, this place does look pretty good. I've never heard her uh, been here before. Okay. Did you have anything in mind that you were thinking about getting? No? Okay. Just sounded good. Okay. Um... They have their signature rolls, and I just noticed they have one called Chuck Norris. <laughs> Spicy salmon and panko crusted shrimp inside tapas of sashimi, salmon, avocado, fresh squeezed lemon juice, and tograshi. I don't know what that is, but that's very interesting. Um, I bet it is delicious. Um, I know you like miso soup, right? Okay, did you want to maybe order a side of that? Okay, so miso soup. And just a small... Okay. Alright. They have edamame. Um, they have salad. Does sushi sound good to you? Um, they also have plates, too. Mm. Let's see... Crispy, spicy tuna for the plates. And then, yeah, they have a bunch of rolls that you can choose from. Um, Wango Mingo. Um, they have a Vegas roll. Um, did you want me to go over a couple of them that sound like they might be good? Okay. Um, let's see. They have a Marilyn Monroe, sashimi tuna, yellowtail and sandwich, spicy tuna, crab mix, avocado and cucumber wrapped in pink soy paper. That one sounds kind of good. Um, they have a chicken and waffle roll and it looks like that's a new item. Pink crusted chicken breast and buttermilk waffles wrapped with rice and soy paper. Topped with clarified butter, pear maple syrup, and tapatio sauce. That one sounds interesting. Probably doesn't um, coincide very well with your diet, though. Yeah. Um, they have one called the crusty crab. Spicy tuna, avocado, and crab served tempura style over spicy aioli. That one might be okay for you to do. You want to try that one? Okay. All right. And then you want a small order of the miso soup. And did you want like edamame or like a salad? Okay. Um, what about just like a yellowtail, um, like sushi? Okay. Sashimi. Okay. That does sound good to you? Okay. Alright, and then they have a cucumber salad. That would be nice and refreshing, I bet. Um, a seaweed salad. They have spicy garlic edamame. Yeah, it does sound good. Okay, I'll change it to that. Okay. Anything else sound good? Okay. All right, let me call in and order this, okay? All right, let me find their phone number and get this ordered for you. And probably do pick up for like um, 1.30. All right, let me just find their telephone number so we can get this order put in. 
what do you think, like 12.45? Maybe 12.35 so I can be back in time for you to have your lunch before your next meeting. Okay. Alright, there is their phone number. Just going to call, write it down in case I forget. Okay. Alright. Down in case I need to look at the menu. place an order for pickup. Uh, 135. I'm sorry, 1235. Mm-hmm. Uh, one person. Yeah, no problem. Okay, so we're going to be getting the spicy garlic edamame. Mm -hmm. Um, the Krusty Krab Roll, um, a small order of miso soup, a yellowtail sashimi, and then can I get one spring roll? Mm-hmm. Uh, no. Okay. Yeah, that will be it. Okay, so I'll pay whenever I pick it up. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. You too. Bye. All right, all ready for pickup at 12.35. I did get you a spring roll to try. Because why not? I know you love spring rolls, and I feel like you're going to definitely deserve it after today. So... Um, I will pick that up at 12.35. No problem. Alright. Alright, let me try to call Lisa real quick about the meeting. I think that'll be everyone that I've warned. So, let me give her a call. I'll just get it done out of the way because I don't want to forget. Hi Lisa, this is Jacqueline. Just calling to let you know that we will be having our meeting today at noon and we're not able to reschedule it unfortunately, so hopefully we will be seeing you there. If you have any questions, please call and let me know. Thank you. Bye. All right. Did you find any more um, items of clothing that you wanted to order? Yeah, let's take a look. So, all right, these were the ones that I thought would look really, really nice together. Yeah, you have these three options right here. I didn't pull any shoes because um, you have like so many. So, um, I could do that though if you want to. Um, what did you think about this one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that one looks really, really nice on you. Um, this would be more of a casual outfit. Yeah. All right, and this one would be more for going out, like, on a date. That would be really nice. Um, here's a more comfortable option for in the office because I know I said you wanted to work on getting comfier clothes that were also professional looking, so this would be a good option. Mm -hmm. What do you think? You definitely like that one. Okay, let me fold that down to mark that one. Okay, and then let's see. This was also... For the office. Um, it does say that 
it is more of a comfortable fit, but I just didn't know what you would think about the color. Yeah, a little different. I think you could pull it off, but obviously if you hate the color, I don't want you to get it. So, maybe? Okay. Alright, and then this last one is actually a workout outfit, so this would be what you'd wear to the gym. So you'd have your brand new outfit at your brand new gym. I think it would look really nice on you. The reviews say that it's very high quality and comfortable. Um, it's pretty pricey, but the reviews say that it's worth it and that it does last very long. So you could all, um, like, purchase a few pairs of this if you like it. You do? Okay, what about the color? And they do have quite a few colors, so I could get a few in, like, different colors. Okay. Alright, so I will put in an order for all of this for you. Of course. Alright. And then I will make sure I email um, Lisa also and make sure that she gets the message. And hopefully I'll hear back from Karen also. But we're all set for 12 o'clock. And then you'll have a window for lunch at um, 12.45. Okay. And I'll have that here at your desk waiting for you. And then, again, I'll let you know when we can set up a time for you to go tour the gym. I obviously know your schedule, so I will figure that out for you. And did you have anything else you wanted to go over with me? Okay. Okay, so you have a date this Saturday? Okay. Right. And where did you want the dinner reservation to be? Okay. Your usual spot. Got it. And 8 o'clock, okay? Okay. Alright, I will call and make that reservation for you. Um, and then, yeah, I'm just going to be doing some emails here. And I'll go over to my office and get that done. And then I'm going to go pick up your coffee and your egg whites. And then I will drop off your dry cleaning while I'm out. Okay. Was there anything else that you wanted to go over? Okay. All right. Well, I'm glad we got everything covered for now. It's going to be quite the busy day. I think I will go ahead and pick up some coffee too. Um, on your card, of course, because I deserve it. Yes. Thank you. And I'm going to go and get all of that done now. Okay. I'm going to head over to my office. I'm going to take all this with me and also get ordered for you as well and I'm gonna go get your coffee and mine okay all right so I will see you in a little bit all right